this is Michael and Andy with lightenupandshoot.blogspot.com. Take 198. This is the last final take. I deleted the, the last one, which was perfect. Shit. We're doing a... We're photographers. We're not video dudes. Okay, we're doing... Uh, this is part four of, of a video series that we're doing on speed lights. And today we're talking about flash power. But before we talk about flash power, there's two important things that we need to talk about with flat with our with our speed lights and those are the limitations that speed lights have and this is why this video is so important so Andy what are those limitations that our speed lights have okay the first one is that they are battery operated by double A's okay and the second one is that they have very slow recycle times uh, depending on the power you're using so what's the problem with double A's uh, I don't want to carry around 800 double A's in my in my pocket so if we're always shooting at full power, we're, I mean, we're, we're eating up a we're, ton of batteries. And we're wasting time because the recycle, we're, we're, we're losing pictures because the recycle time uh, sometimes can take two, three seconds depending on your battery. So let's dive into flash power. Yep. Okay, so let's say that we are, we've got our light on the stand, we've got our, our model there, and we're, we're shooting at full power. And I want to save some battery life. I know that if I go from full power to half power, that is one stop of light. Mm -hmm. If I want to go from half power to quarter power, one stop of light. Quarter to eighth to sixteenth to thirty second to sixty fourth. The relationship between each of those is one stop of light. So look, so let's go back to the example. We've got the flash on the stand. We've got our model properly exposed at f eight. Full power. At full power, we can save some battery life and we can have faster recycle times by simply stopping down, One. stopping down. Yeah, so if we go flash, from full power to half power, we get to change our aperture from f8 to 5.6. That's one stop aperture. of light. But you know what? We, we, let's not stop there. We can go even further. We can go from now half power to quarter power to f4. That's two stops of light from where we originally started. Now we're shooting at, at quarter power. Mm -hmm. at Faster f4. recycle times, saving battery. And if you don't need the depth of field, you have the exact same exposure. Uh, At that, that's the point I guess I forgot to mention is that the relationship between each of those, what one stop of light mathematically works, that exposure-wise, an F8 full power is the same as quarter power shooting at, at uh, F4. Right. Same exact exposure mathematically. So in layman's terms, okay, one stop of flash power is the exact same thing as one stop of aperture or once you know on your camera that's it that's it there's nothing else to it but just check out the website okay we'll explain it better